A Nocturnal Reverie by Lady Winchelsea. Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Ness. In such a night, when every louder wind is to its distant cavern safe confined, and only gentle Zephyr fans his wings, and lonely Philomel, still waking, sings, or from some tree, famed for the owl's delight, she hollowing clear, directs the wanderer right, in such a night, when passing clouds give place, or thinly veil the heaven's mysterious face, when in some river overhung with green the waving moon and trembling leaves are seen, when freshened grass now bears itself upright, and makes cool banks to pleasing rest invite, whence springs the woodbine and the bramble rose, and where the sleepy cowslip sheltered grows, whilst now a paler hue the foxglove takes, yet checkers still with red the dusky breaks, when scattered glow-worms, but in twilight fine, show trivial beauties watch their hour to shine, whilst Salisbury stands the test of every light, in perfect charms, and perfect virtue bright, when odors which declined repelling day through temperate air uninterrupted stray, when darkened groves their softest shadows wear, and falling water we distinctly hear, when through the gloom more venerable shows some ancient fabric awful in repose, while sunburnt hills their swarthy looks conceal, and swelling haycocks thicken up the vale. When the loosed horse now, as his pasture leads, comes slowly grazing through the adjoining meads, whose stealing pace and lengthening shade we fear, till torn up forage in his teeth we hear, when nibbling sheep at large pursue their food, and unmolested kine rechew the cud, when curlews cry beneath the village walls, and to her straggling brood the partridge calls, their short-lived jubilee the creatures keep, which but endures whilst tyrant man does sleep, when a sedate content the spirit feels, and no fierce light disturb whilst it reveals, but silent musings urge the mind to seek something too high for syllables to speak, till the free soul to a composedness charmed, finding the elements of rage disarmed, or all below a solemn quiet groan, joys in the inferior world, and thinks it like her own. In such a night let me abroad remain, till morning breaks and all's confused again. Our cares, our toils, our clamors are renewed, or pleasures seldom reached again pursued. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.